you can be able to drive. But to drive came with an informed yeah. mindset. Yeah. If you don't have, if you don't know, you cannot do it. You understand that? So that's why I want that everything we discuss here, please, if you don't understand, speak the local language. Let us help you. Because we know that when we are informed person, the way you engage your issues are different. Yeah. You don't go there with emotions. You don't go there shouting, shouting. Yeah. The approach, because the approach is very, very important. If you don't approach people very well, they're strong. Me, I always say, God will trust and everybody else bring evidence. Me, you are not God. When you come and you think I've done something wrong, I will need evidence. If you don't provide the evidence, I'll be angry with you. You understand that? So the approach is going to be very, very important. And if you look at the groups that the people invited in, they are multi multiple cities. There are assembly people, there is media, and there is community people. We are believing that each one of us have a constituency, have a role. We are doing certain things. We have access to power, we have access to resources, we have access to information. If all of us bring this access, resources, information, and power together, we can drive change. And so for me, it's the groups that we will leave you with. When you go back to your communities, what you need to do. The second thing we will do is to support your meetings. We will support you. Media. We will pay for media airtime. My brother so will continue in the group. By tomorrow, we will set up a medical group. You always go on media. When you have researched, gotten better information, you go out there and talk about it. Devoid of politics. But only focus on your community. We at CDB, we say democracy is our party. I want you to, your party should be your community. Because parties will come and go, your community will still remain. The issue in your community will still remain. When there is poor road, it will not say this is a time, this is a time. We are all the ones who are suffering it. So that is one thing that I want us to focus on. I don't want us to live here without this understanding that one, there is somebody who we have entrusted with power and resources. The person has to answer how he uses that power and that resources. And I'm also saying that the person will not answer if you don't demand. And that is, the demand that you make is what we call social accountability. You have to demand that the power we gave him, he exercises it, he uses it for our benefit. We have to demand that the money we entrusted him, the common fund, the small idea, all the money that are in the scale, he answers to us how he uses that money. If you are not able to answer, if you are not able to demand, then you will use the money and buy cars and buy all kinds of things. You know, and, and PM is here. Uh, PM, forgive me. Every Friday, when I say people are going home, they take something home. Uh, TNT, they take weekend, weekend expenditure. They take so only on assembly. To add going to build our capacities on the mechanisms to use in the manner for accountability, which is very good. But after our capacities have been built, I want to share a particular story that I have seen happening in one of the communities in the district uh, called Mungbangwan. There is a particular project that is coming there, or that has already been awarded, but there is a political struggle of that particular project, which the MPP party wants to get credit and the NDC party also wants to get a credit which is a school building. The MP wants to get his credit, the DC wants to get his credit, which has made the community to be divided today. We have made plans to go and meet the community as you could, but where do you get the resources to go and meet those people? We are one way or the other affiliated to this two major political parties. If you come there, they will tag you in one way or the other that you have been resourced when you don't have the resources. And you know this is our local dealings. You don't go to the chief parties without a cola. You don't gather people without reflection them. So I want to re echo on the resources so that then we can really discharge our duties. Thank you. My response to you is this. We will try, no resources is sufficient, but we will try our best to provide the little we can for your meetings, for your engagement. But I want you to remember this, when we talk about resources, what we actually need. There are so many levels of resources we are providing. 
One of it is this training. So when they say no source, we provide new capacity, which is a no source. The other thing they are planning to do is also radio. Because you know, radio gives you the opportunity to amplify your voice. So we pay for airtime, right? Whereas for me, this is when you have issues like this. You go there and discuss it, the void of party politics. So that's one other resource we are going to provide for you. So that collectively we can all go together. When we, we do our action planning tomorrow, we we'll identify like the issue just identified. How should we approach it to make sure that the credit taking doesn't become like a big conflict? You can share ideas, and then when you go back, you will say, you go on radio and talk about it, do community forum to discuss or bring all these stakeholders together to discuss it. That is the third part of the resource we provide, the meetings. We we'll provide some resources to help facilitate meetings, to discuss issues like that, and come up with a conclusion. In the end, it is the community that benefit. Whether it's NDC, MDP, whoever, but the school there is for the community. They will not say that your NDC child, your MDP child, so don't go to the school. Exactly. Everybody will benefit from that. You understand? So these are the three levels of resources we will provide for you. And there are mentorship. There are so many other programs we are going to do with the political parties. Our next set of activities will be with political parties. Where we want to mentor young people like you who are in the political parties to communicate your party's vision better. To send your party's message. We are going to an election. You want to do issue-based campaigning. We want you to go there and campaign on issues, not on violence, not on insults. And say what your party is going to do. We want you to also give yourself up to become leaders of your parties in your constituents and communities. Represent your communities and do well by your communities. If you have some potential, go out there. We will pair you with mentors, both in your district and outside of your district, who will be guiding you and supporting you. That is another resource that we are willing to provide for you. We will pair you with experienced local government people who have retired to tell you how, if you want a problem to be solved in assembly, where you should go. We have our honorable PM. Our honorable PM can be one of our mentors. He will mentor all of us. When we come to the assembly, we have something to call the PRCC. If you have a problem, come to me and the chair. I know how to go about it and solve the complete problem for you. The PM can help all of us. So we will do those kinds of mentorship programs with you. That's another resource we are going to provide. So we have a full set of support that we are going to give you so that you can also contribute better. The quarterly and annual progress reports and all of that. And how they can even evaluate whether some of the plans and budget are gender responsive. So if we take, if we are taking them through, I'm sure yeah. the next time a project like this is happening, okay. they also have to go the medium term development plan or the annual action plan. And they can see any project that is funded it will be there. there. To be there. And so I hope that the next set of trainings we wanted to do is to bring our seven people from the three communities and then some other stakeholders so that we can do that kind of knowledge sharing yeah. with them. So that they can also use that knowledge to help educate mm. their communities better. Is that okay? So we'll do that one as well. As I said, we'll provide you resources. Some will come in the form of capacity building. Some will come in the form of network and relationship building. Some will come in the form of facilitating yeah. your own meetings. And some will come in the form of advocacy. We'll help you to ready you for you to do a lot of the advocacy on the issues that affect your community. You understand that? Those are the things that we want to help you on. Is that okay? All right. Are, are we good? Uh, are we finished? Now, so far, you can go. They said they are, they are now done. So you can go to your next session. Maybe you can give them some energizer. They can stand, stand and stretch. And then we'll come back.